Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with my first segment of Here's What's For Dinner. And this is where I show you what my husband and I have for dinner during the week. And I'm hoping it is going to keep me more accountable as far as meal planning and cooking healthier meals. And I'm going to give this a go and I hope you like this, like this video if you do like these types of videos. And you know, I love watching these types of videos on YouTube and some other uh, channels and YouTubers that I enjoy watching are Dead Is Dumb, How Jen Does It, and The Not So Ordinary Wife. They consistently do these types of videos along with um, stay, staying online with their budget for their meals and I really do appreciate that about them. Now this week my husband and I we gave ourselves a big fat D as far as our meals because we did not meal plan. We ate out three times this week and the only reason it's not an F is because the meals we did prepare at home were healthier which we're trying to prepare healthier meals. And so basically this week our meals cost us $265.85. We have a weekly budget of a hundred dollars for our meals so as you can see we were a hundred and sixty five dollars and eighty five cents over budget which that is just awful now Friday what we had for dinner January 3rd 2014 we had seared salmon French bread with butter and salad absolutely delicious on the healthier side but the thing about it was we had to run to the store to get it because I didn't meal plan we were running to the store all week you know buying groceries here and there and kind of spending more money than we would have if we would have sat down and meal plan. Now as for Saturday, January 4th, 2014, what we had was seared um, scallops over salad with croissants. Again, having to go back to the store because we picked up this, um, this we picked up the croissants and then we picked up the scallops also because we didn't have any on hand. But it was a delicious meal, but again, spending more because we didn't plan it out. Now Sunday, January 5th, 2014, we actually did takeout at Applebee's. My husband on his way home, he just picked up Applebee's and I had the shrimp Alfredo and it actually was not good. You know, I didn't enjoy it. And my husband had a steak with mushrooms and some rice. We did not really enjoy the meal, but we paid for it, you know, and we could have ate, eaten a lot better and less expensive that week. Turned around Monday, January 6th, and did the same thing. We ordered Papa John's pizza. So you can see we're just ordering and kind of running to the store. So it was just really a bad week. This was the um, uh, spinach Alfredo pizza with some tomatoes on it. It was absolutely delicious. Um, but again, not the best option and not the best way to go all of the time. And so then on Tuesday, January 7th, you guys, we went back out to dinner. We went Mexican with my stepdaughter. And so I had kind of this like a, a seafood chimichanga with a salad and baked beans and that, um, that kind of thing. And so then Wednesday, January 8th, 2014, we did get back on track and we had our um, baked fish French bread, um, baked sweet potato, but again, run into the store because I didn't have sweet potatoes, and so I ran to the store to get the sweet potatoes. So again, just back and forth to Publix, right down the street. And then Thursday, January 9th, what we did was we did salmon again because I was craving salmon, so we had some um, seared salmon again with some salad, and we did go to Publix again to get that salad because I was craving this new salad that they have along with some blueberries, and so we got the salad and the blueberries, and so a lot of time and effort running back to the store and things just to have a specific meal each day, so which was not the best. So as you can see, you know, although we did eat healthier on the days we ate at home, we did not make the best judgment as far as not meal planning and eating out um, excessively this week in our book according to our, our household. I hope you enjoyed these types of videos. I'll be coming to you more with this. Wish me luck next week. I'm hoping to bring that D up to an A. So let's see what happens. I hope you all are doing great and this is Nikki saying goodbye.